Now we've featured Helwig products on this show a couple of times now, having David Wheeler come down to show us how to install products on our Mustang and our F-150. And now we're at the 2010 SEMA show at the Helwig booth to find out what is new this year. So you guys, what's going on here at the show? Well, Chris, we have our new big wig. Um, it's our new load specific sway bar. Um, okay. We're really excited to introduce it. It's um, our for the campers, for the heavy haulers. Yep. Um, it's very cool and um, it's got a cool name too. I big like win. the name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so how how that come to be? Um, we were all sitting in a meeting talking about you know these heavier duty campers and what they need. Um, they need a lot more sway control. Um, no more white knuckle driving when you have a camper on. Um, and we had to come up with a cool name for it. So we came up with the big wig. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly you can remember that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Well, what we've got also at the show is uh, our muscle car lineup. We've got Tri-5 Chevy sway bars featuring billet clamps, taking it up another level, featuring another special powder coat, uh, prismatic powder coat on there. Very Basically, cool. To kind of take it up a level for the guy that really wants the best for his car. Right. We also have our Pro Touring line of sway bars for the first gen Camaros. We have, we have a full Pro Touring line, but now we have a Pro Touring line that features a rear sway bar that's okay. designed for a Watts Link application for the guy that wants the ultimate sway bar to match the suspension upgrades that he's made for his vehicle. Right we on. also have our G Body Pro Touring bars. These cars have gotten very popular because they're affordable in this day and age. Affordability is very critical. And so for the G-Body, the GM G-Body, we have a tubular front sway bar, also an adjustable rear sway bar that does not mount to the control arms anymore. It mounts to the cross member, and that unbinds the suspension, allowing it to articulate better for better handling and better ride quality, and just an all-around better performing sway bar setup. Right on, and, and as we know, they're pretty easy to install, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We also have our new line of sway bars for the Nissan 370Z and 350Z. Very popular cars right now. And we have our full line of modern muscle sway bars, 2010 Camaro, 2010 okay. Mustang, 2010 Challenge. Right on, so you guys stay on top of all the new product releases yep. out there from yep. the manufacturers. Yeah, modern nice. muscle is very popular. Also the Z cars from Nissan, very popular. We're staying on top of that. For the 370Z, we're featuring an inch and three eighths or 35 millimeter front sway bar right. and a 25 millimeter adjustable rear sway bar. Easy bolt on, bolt it on in a couple hours and it transforms the way the car handles. Adjustability for the rear bar. Say you want to autocross, tighten up the bar, you can adjust it firmer for the track and then adjust it back to your street setting for the drive home. Right on. Well, David, we've certainly enjoyed you being on the show a couple of times. Hopefully we can get you back down to San Diego on the show once again. Melanie, thank you for your time. Thank you. David? Thanks, Chris. All right, man. Thank you. Check out the Motors TV website to watch all of your favorite episodes and more, and talk with other viewers online in our popular forums area. Catch the latest news and information surrounding the show, as well as the entire automotive industry. Take motors with you on the road with our free app available for the iPhone and iPod Touch. And win free parts by entering in our monthly giveaway. It's all right here at www.motors.tv.